Okay, working in the red slice of Alex Statistics, we will be talking about discrete versus continuous data. So they're going to basically ask us the question of some examples here. Is this discrete or is, is this continuous data? Now what I would do there is to give you a few notes on that, so let's quickly go over and take a look at my notes here, discrete versus continuous. Now it's all about the wording in this case. You need to know that this word discrete means that you can count it. Okay, so you think about buying eggs, you buy those by the dozen, you count them. On the other hand, if you are going to go to the deli and buy some potato salad, it would be very difficult to count that. What they will do then is they will dip some of that out and they will measure it in some way. In this case, they'll measure it on uh, a scale. They'll weigh it out, basically. So there's basically two kinds of things, things that you can count that are discrete. Another way is to have data that can be measured. So let's go in and look at some of the examples. When they say discrete, we say count. When they say continuous, we say measure. So let's talk about it. The number of insects feeding on a tree leaf. Well, obviously there, we're going to have to count those insects. And so uh, we would go in there and call that discrete. Okay, the highest grade level, 9, 10, or 11, completed by a high school dropout. Well, that would be discrete because we could count those grade levels. The body temperature measurement of a participant in a lie detector test. Well, uh, temperature is a measurement. We would measure that, obviously, with a thermometer that's continuous. The number of typographical errors in an edition of the Metropolitan Newspaper, a number which could be counted. We could count those mistakes. And so the question is, can these, uh, these numbers be counted? If they can, they're discrete. If it has to be measured in some way, it's continuous.